click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will discuss about two important aspects of a DBMS that is data storage and query processing or querying. In the data storage, we will discuss about all the data storage managers and the data structures that is involved in this type of data storages. And in query processing, we will discuss about all the DDL interpreters, TML compilers, and query evolution engines. First, we will discuss about the storage part. As we know that the database management system or a database system is generally divided into module so that it can take all the responsibilities on a particular system or an enterprise. So whenever we are dividing the system in a module, so we need to keep track of all the information that is being stored on the storage area of each module. So now the modules are interconnected with each other via this DBMS or the database system. So we can keep track that the information that is being stored in unfile can be get retrieved and information or used to get retrieved information on another file. So there is one need to information tracking between the storage part of the database. So whenever the actual file or the raw data is kept on files and then it is being stored on the particular operating systems via the main memory. So the data tracking and the main memory to fetching data in the actual memory or the RAM to get access or retrieval. So we need to keep track of the buffering of data so that all the data are residing in the main memory and we need to bring only the part of the data that is needed for the particular access or a useful out that particular work. So whenever this type of thing is done, so we can help tack of the storage manager. The storage manager is a component of a database management system which actually transform the low level data to the data that understand by the query evaluation language. Now this query evaluation languages can transform and execute the low level data that is being transferred by the storage manager and is being assembled and organized in a way so that every level is defined on another word. So the user and the administrator are of two different authorization that is needed to be given the permission to handle the data. Now there are many types of storage managers available in a database system. The first type of manager is authorization manager. This authorization manager gives help of all the authorization and which authorization to give to which users, that is the read authorization, delete, modification or updation authorization. Next is the file manager. The file manager actually takes care of all the files and the relation between the files that is kept in the particular system. Next and most important manager is the buffer manager. As we see that all the data are residing in the main memory and the data that is needed to cache up in the buffer, so it is can managed by the buffer manager. And it is of extremely important because if there are more data that are for the needed one, in the buffer manager will control all the data and give us the actual desired output on that particular buffer. The next type of manager is a transaction manager. The transaction manager takes care of the atomicity of a transaction, that is a transaction doesn't get interrupted on its whole. So whenever a transaction has started, it must be committed or completed without any interruption. So this is being handled by the transaction manager. So there are many data structure that is being handled by the storage manager. One is the data dictionary, that is the data about the data or containing the metadata. Next is the data itself or the informations. And another is the SQL or the queries or the result or output of the particular query on the loss of information. So that is all about the data storage part. Next we will move to the query processing or querying. 
as we know that we are storing and maintaining a database for only one purpose so that the user and the administrator can get the data whenever they are needed in a meaningful and organized way. So getting the data is known as querying. So this querying is done with a helpful processing view. Whenever we are query processing, then we need to keep in mind that the low-level language the query evaluation engine cannot get. So we first convert it into a query evaluation engine machine level standard and then it can be executed by that. So there are three types of this query processor. One is the DDL interpreter which interprets all the DDL languages that is provided to update and get interrupted on a particular schema. Next is the DML compiler, which actually converts the data from a low level one to the query evaluation language level. Now the query evaluation engine, which actually executes the data and get the actual desired output on the particular query. So in this way, data storage and querying is handled in a database system. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.